Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're getting very excited about this Final Fantasy renaissance the world's going through and looking at the 10 longest Final Fantasy games to beat. Want something to sink some time into? Here are some recommendations. Before we continue, we publish content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of our latest videos. Final Fantasy VI. There are literally hundreds of lists for greatest Final Fantasy games of all time, and 95% of the time, the top entry will either be Final Fantasy VII or the brilliant and almost perfect Final Fantasy VI. Final Fantasy VI is not only my personal favorite Final Fantasy game of all time, but my favorite RPG of all time. With an average play time of around 35 hours, Final Fantasy VI takes players on an epic journey through the eyes of 14 playable characters, making it the Final Fantasy entry with the most playable characters. But that's a list for another day. Seriously, I'm writing it down now. Final Fantasy VII. I'm very sorry, but this is not the last time Final Fantasy VII will appear on this list. Often hailed as one of the most influential RPGs ever created, Final Fantasy VII played a pivotal role in captivating players not only to the Final Fantasy franchise, but also to the RPG genre as a whole. Its profound impact on gaming was duly recognized with induction into the World Video Game Hall of Fame in 2018. That is a wild achievement. Its next big achievement is that it takes 36.5 hours to beat the campaign. Also, and I promised I wouldn't add 100% achievement times to this list, but this game is the GOAT. So it's worth mentioning that to completionists, you're looking at more like 80 to 100 hours. Moving on. Final Fantasy IX. Following explorations into steampunk, modern, and futuristic realms, Square opted for something a little different with Final Fantasy IX, returning to a medieval setting as seen in their earlier entries. This choice proved fruitful, resulting in one of the finest mainline Final Fantasy titles to date. I mean, it's not Final Fantasy VI good, but it's still pretty damn good. Please don't hit me. It's worth pointing out that Final Fantasy IX is Final Fantasy creator Hironobu Sakakuchi's personal favorite among the mainline series, and that's a trophy worth putting on your mantle. Final Fantasy VIII. Easily one of the most divisive Final Fantasy entries ever made, Final Fantasy VIII splits fans straight down the middle with its central characters and infamous junction system. Love it or hate it, 40 hours of epic Final Fantasy action is nothing to scoff at. In 2019, it was finally given renewed attention with the long-awaited release of its remaster, following in the footsteps of Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy IX, which received theirs earlier. It was literally jumped over. This presented Final Fantasy enthusiasts with the opportunity to delve into Final Fantasy VIII for the first time or to give it a second chance, as every mainline Final Fantasy deserves. While this didn't entirely resolve Final Fantasy VIII's divisive reception, it did give a whole new audience to add numbers to both sides of the split. I love it, but I also have no idea how to abuse the junction system, so whatever. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Bring me the black materia. For number six, we've got our most recent Final Fantasy installment, meaning it's not only going to give you some sync time, but it's also readily available for PlayStation players. For the first installment of the Final Fantasy VII Remake, adapting the first five to ten hours of the original PS1 entry into its own standalone title required clever writing and great ambition, but Square Enix absolutely nailed it by creating an epic game that stood at around 33 hours. Now, the second entry, which brings us into the beautiful open world of Final Fantasy VII, stands at an expected 40 to 45 epic hours. Final Fantasy X. Similar to Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy X acted as an excellent gateway into the Final Fantasy universe, being the first mainline installment to debut on the immensely popular PlayStation 2 platform. I, for one, got so many friends into Final Fantasy back in 2001 with this entry alone. 
Despite its linear nature, Final Fantasy X offers ample opportunities for exploration and discovery within the world of Spira. Notably, players can invest countless hours assembling a formidable team and competing in championships within Final Fantasy X's engaging Blitzball mode. All that aside, the main campaign will still take the player roughly 46 hours to complete, and every minute of that is filled with endless joy. Final Fantasy 13. With every other entry on this list, I'll happily say, here are gameplay hours to make your dollar spent worth it. For Final Fantasy 13, I say, taking your sweet time, huh? Huh, Final Fantasy 13? You time waster? Discussions regarding the contentious Final Fantasy VIII tend to maintain a level of civility. The same cannot be said for debates surrounding Final Fantasy 13, and I'm certainly not helping. With an average playtime of 48 hours, one of Final Fantasy XIII's primary criticisms revolve around its pacing. The game takes nearly the entirety of its first half to thoroughly, and I mean thoroughly, explain its mechanics. We get it. It's not that hard. Thanks, Dad. Final Fantasy XII. Imagine making a game that was so long that it was re-released with a fast-forward feature. Final Fantasy XII was compared to MMORPGs due to its distinctive battle system, and the comparison is further pushed by the expansive nature of the main game, making it one of the most sprawling mainline entries in the Final Fantasy series. Players are greeted with the vast expanse of Ivalis, complete with a massive map and plenty to do within it. The later release, Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age, was given a fast-forward feature that brought the playtime closer to about 40 hours. Final Fantasy XI Square Enix's announcement of the franchise's 11th mainline entry caught many longtime fans off guard as it marked a departure into the realm of MMORPGs. Even today, there are those within the Final Fantasy community who question the legitimacy of the MMORPG entries as true representatives of the series. Nonetheless, Final Fantasy XI proved to be remarkably successful, receiving five expansions, with the most recent being in 2015. Its booming success paved the way for the development of its MMORPG successor, Final Fantasy XIV. While the main storyline of Final Fantasy XI boasts an average completion time of 109 hours, this only scratches the surface of the experience that the game has to offer. Final Fantasy XIV not only does Final Fantasy XIV come in as the longest Final Fantasy entry of all time, but it's also the underdog Comeback King having the worst launch of a game we've ever seen, with a turnaround return to form akin to No Man's Sky. Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, garnered an overwhelmingly positive reception, swiftly becoming one of the most beloved MMORPGs of all time. Recognizing that the initial 111 hour entry point might be daunting for some players, Square Enix has diligently worked to streamline A Realm Reborn, allowing players to progress more swiftly and access the expansions with greater ease. Nice one, Square Enix. I love you. I, I mean, we love you. I love you. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Mojo Plays and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of our latest videos.